So this is my Salisbury steaks or hamburger steaks recipe. So I'm starting off with a half of an onion that I'm gonna go ahead and chop up. And I'm gonna give that a saute with some oil and some garlic for my meat filling mixture. So I'm gonna just continue to cut this onion into small dice. You can use a food chopper too. You definitely don't have to do this by hand. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook that onion in some olive oil here. I'm going to season that onion with some salt. And then some pepper. I'm going to keep an eye on it, just keep tossing it as it continues to cook. Now I'm gonna throw in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm gonna let that cook down as well. I'm really just looking to caramelize these onions just a little bit and then what I'll do is I'll remove them from the pan, place them on a plate and let them cool. You can put them in the freezer as well just to let them cool off a little bit faster. So I'm starting off with a family pack of 80-20 ground beef here. I'm gonna throw in one packet of onion soup mix and then I'm gonna season with a teaspoon of salt. Gonna throw in some black pepper. And then I'm gonna use some onion and garlic powder. So this is making uh, regular hamburgers that I'm gonna go ahead and store in the freezer as well. And this is also going to make my hamburger for my Salisbury steaks. So I'm taking that sauteed onion and garlic that I had on my plate and cooling, and I'm gonna toss that in there as well. So now I'm just gonna mix all that together. I'm gonna fry up a little bit to make sure that it has enough seasoning. And if it doesn't need any seasoning, I won't go ahead and adjust it. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll start forming my patties after I have it all mixed. Now I'm ready to start forming those patties. So I'm gonna take a couple handfuls of the patties. I'm gonna roll them and then flatten them. Like I mentioned earlier, these are going to be uh, hamburger patties for future use, and they're also going to be the patties for Salisbury steak. So the patties that I form for the Salisbury steaks, I'm gonna kind of shape them into like an oval shape. So then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna brown your hamburger patties. In the meantime, you're gonna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350, and you're gonna get a baking dish ready to place those patties in after they are brown. You're really just browning them on both sides because they will finish cooking in the oven with the gravy. So I went ahead and I flipped them and this is what they look like on the one side. You're gonna brown them on the other side and then remove them from the pan and place them into your baking dish. You're gonna get all those patties placed in there and then you're gonna pour your favorite beef gravy on top. I use the Bell's beef gravy, but you can also make your own with the drippings from the grease. Um, it's whatever is easier for you. So now I'm gonna take that one jar of the Bell's beef gravy and place that on top of the hamburger patties. I'm gonna put a little water in the jar also and then throw that on top as well, just so they stay nice and moist while they're cooking. Then you're going to go ahead and place a piece of foil over it and you're going to bake it for about a half hour, baking it at 350. So here I am storing my hamburger patties that I made up. So I'm just putting them in between some parchment paper and then I'll place them in a Ziploc bag and store them in the freezer. So whenever I need a burger on the fly, I have them ready. And this is why I took the big family pack and I'm, I'm just doing one job one time. Don't have to worry about taking it out, thawing it, mixing it. It's already set and done. Easy, one, two, three. So now we have hamburgers whenever we need them. So I'm just gonna continue to do that until I have them all stored in the Ziploc bag. So 
After the 30 minutes, this is what the Salisbury steaks look like. Serve them with mashed potatoes or some white rice. Or you can even serve them up with some egg noodles. But this is it. Thanks for watching.